Ang fake na ako. Ready? Get it? Go! Hi guys! This is Leah once again and welcome to VA Talks with Leah. Today's video guys, I'm gonna teach you on how you can use a very cool program wherein you can send back emails or even thousands of emails in just one click. It is a very simple and powerful email marketing inside Gmail and that is what we call Gmas. So again guys, if it will only work if you're using Gmail. Other emails like um, Outlook or Yahoo, hindi po siya gagana, okay? And also, you can only send bulk emails if you're subscribed to their plan. But if you're only using a free version of Gmas, then it will only allow you to send 50 emails a day. And then, the next day, um, you can send again another 50 and so on and so forth, okay? So Before you can use Gmas, we have to install it first okay. and add to your Chrome. Okay, so let's dive into my computer so that I can walk you through. Okay, so we're here now in my screen. So we need first to install or add the GMS extension to our Chrome. So you can just type in GMS or GMS.co. And here it is. So that is the website, gmas.co or gmas.co. And just add to Gmail or it's either this one or this one. Okay, so you will be directed to the Chrome Web Store. These are the extension. Then just hit on add to Chrome. Then add extension. Okay, it's downloading now and adding to Chrome. When you click this one, so you will see this um, Gmails is already uh, added to your Chrome. If you wanted to see this or pin on the top, right, just hit on this button. Okay, then, oh, sorry. Okay. So, you will now see GMAS icon there at the top. Okay. So, it means that um, the GMAS extension is now installed to your Chrome. So, we need first to upload to our Google Drive the list of um, um, leads that I generated before from LinkedIn. Okay. So, if you haven't watched yet how to generate leads from LinkedIn, just watch my previous tutorial. I was able to generate using Apollo. So this is the link. Okay. So to those who don't know how to use or where to find Google Drive, you have to open a new tab and then you will see these dots. Okay. You will be able to see all the different Google applications like Google Play and Google Calendar, Google Photos. So, this is the Google Drive. Just hit on that. Okay. And then, if you wanted to upload files or folder, just hit on new. You'll see you can upload folder. Ano ko ba yun? File. Okay. You'll be able, you will see here the Google Docs, Google Sheets. You can open a new Google Sheets or Google Docs. So, we're going to upload file. Just hit on that. And this is the list of the recipients. So, upload complete. Okay. So, there are actually um, 348 emails. So, imagine how tedious and time-consuming it is if we are gonna send emails one by one to each lead, right? So, with the use of GMS... It's going to be more easier and faster to send emails to all of these leads. So, so, you'll see that it's still in Excel format. If it's X, it's Excel. This sign plus sign it is already um, Google Sheets. So, for you to be able to convert this one to Google Sheet, so open. And then, 
you have to select on file and then save as Google Sheets. Okay? So, again, guys, dapat naka-Google Sheets siya. Pag naka-Excel pa rin siya, hindi siya marirecognize na GMAS. Okay? Close na. So, check natin kung naka-Google Sheets na siya. <coughs> Oh, ayan guys, naka plus sign na siya dito. So, ibig sabihin, naka, ano, I mean, ibig sabihin, Google Sheet na siya, okay? So, pwede na natin i-delete ito. Delete, just right click and then, right click and remove. Let's go back to our Gmail, then hit the plus sign to compose an email. So, you will see now that there's already a GMAS icon on the upper right and you will see GMAS below, okay? So, we just hit on this icon, then hit on sign up with Google and then allow. So, it says in here that you have successfully connected GMAS to your Gmail account. And then, just close the window. We're going to get our file from Google. Try. So, we have to click from a Google Sheet. And then, um, we have to select the file. So, this is the file, right? Teachers and Coordinators. And then, connect to Spreadsheet. So, hintayin lang natin. Ayan na siya. Ayan. Kita nyo, 345 recipients are, are already in here. So, so, you can actually expand the addresses, the 345 addresses. So, you can click expand address. It's now loading. So, while waiting for that, okay, we can select this GMS to personalize our email para magmukhang isa-isa natin silang sinenda ng email. So, we can choose first name, last name, or full name. We're going to select first name. So, when we select first name, so, it says in here, the personalization variable first name has been copied to your clipboard. So, for example, um, this is how it goes. You have to type in beer and then just type in first name. First name. Nagyahatin ang coma. Yan. Pag nag-send tayo ng email, lalabas doon ay yung first name ng bawat isa. For example, Dear Alexander, ganon. So, ang mangyayari parang personalized talaga, parang tayo talaga ay nag-send sa kanila isa-isa, hindi bulk email. So, pwede ka na mag-compose. For example, um, So, ganyan. So, nakita nyo. Example lang yan, guys. So, nakita nyo to. Di ba 348 yung ating recipients? So, pwede natin i-check yan siya. 
Yan. This is the 348 recipients that we're going to send email to. Okay? And then put the subject. For example lang, wala akong maisip. Must read. Ayan. And then, just click this GMS button in here. Instead of send button that we are normally using when sending emails. And then, individual emails will be sent to each address in the two field. Okay? So, it will be sent to them individually. Hindi ko siya isa-send, guys. Dahil sample lang to. Naisend ko na siya kasi dati. Okay, guys. So, uh, before we end this tutorial, I would like to show you the GMS website itself. So, okay, it, you will see here the different uses of GMS. So, you will, you can use GMS to send mail merge in Gmail with Google Sheets. That is what we did a while ago. We sent bulk emails from um, Google Sheets, right? And then, um, send cold emails with sequences that maximize responses. You can personalize email. S schedule emails in Gmail. Email tracking reports. Track opens, clicks, and replies. So, once you have sent the email, you'll be able to see on the left side the uh, the GMS report, how many were how many were opened the emails and how many were bounced back. And how many were just click the email. And then validate your list with our built-in verifier to maximize deliverability. Okay, and then I will show you how much is the subscription. Just to give you an idea. But then again, no need for you to subscribe if you are using GMS for your client or for your work as a freelancer or virtual assistant. So it's going to be your client who will always uh, give you access uh, to their Gmail account that is all subscribed to GMS. This is the pricing for a standard $12.95 a month. So, sequences and follow-ups are not included in this plan. And if it's premium, it's going to be $19.95 a month. So, it includes the sequences and follow-ups, unlimited use, and all other features. Okay? So, you can uh, pay this annually as well. For annually, it's going to be $129 per year for standard and $199 per year for premium. Okay, so that is for today, guys. So that is my tutorial for today. I hope na kahit pa paano may natutunan kayo. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll get updated or you'll get notified on my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye! Bye-bye!